Here I am on netbeansapache.org. I'm on a Mac version 10.13.6. I go to the download button here and the latest release and then I want to launch the binary so I get the closest mirror and very quickly the download process begins. I can click on the show all button on the bottom right there and here is the whole process. It takes about a minute or something in total. The zip contains executables and we will use those in a second. End of this little process we can see the process is complete and we can show it in the finder which means we are now in my downloads folder. I open this with a utility for doing the unzip process which takes a couple of seconds and here is NetBeans. In the bin folder are the executables, these are windows and here is a little starting point for NetBeans on the Mac. I just double click that and NetBeans starts up. Here we see NetBeans starting up and I think the whole process from downloading the zip file to unzipping it to clicking on that icon there took about two, two or three minutes in total. Here is NetBeans ready to be used. What you can also do is you can use the command line. So this is what I use a lot. I go to the terminal window and in the terminal window I go to that folder. C downloads, C NetBeans, CD bin. And here are those launchers. So this is how I would start NetBeans from the terminal window. But as you could see, simply double clicking on the NetBeans icon here, or it's not actually the NetBeans icon, but this actually launches NetBeans through the terminal window. So this is why you see the terminal icon there. Um, you can double click on it, you can right click on it and do open, and that will start up the NetBeans process. So right now NetBeans is running. So let's quit and you can see here that I can start from the command line as well so now NetBeans is being restarted so command line and the other way is just to go into that folder and I double clicked on it or right click and choose open and that process begins. That's it. We've started up NetBeans on Mac OS X.